Welcome back! According to the guidebook to the land of the Green Isles, there was an ancient civilization known simply as the Ancient Ones who lived on the Isle of the Sacred Mountain before the current inhabitants, um, the Winged Ones, did. And they actually predate the entire kingdom. And they left behind a number of artifacts, including the Cliffs of Logic, which are actually um, these cliffs. If you want to know more about the Ancient Ones, uh, check out the guidebook. There appears to be something etched into the face of the cliff. Alexander decides to get closer. It seems there's some writing etched in this cliff. The Cliffs of Logic were apparently um, a collection of riddles that no one has ever solved. Ignorance kills, wisdom elevates. The rock has been etched by some unknown hand. One may need to read about the Logic Cliffs in the guidebook to the Land of the Green Isles in order to understand this mystical inscription. Perhaps. But what do we do with it? Well, if you try it, you can actually uh, push these letters. So I guess it's a matter of finding out which ones we need to push and in what order. Nothing happens. That didn't work. In the guidebook there are a number of hints, however. There appears to be something etched into the face of the cliff. Alexander decides to get closer. And um, there are some hints relating to um, these actual riddles, which are translated from um, ancient scrolls, apparently, about the logic cliffs. And it says about the first challenge, only those pure of heart will be able to rise the cliffs of logic. And the word rise is capitalized. So perhaps we need to spell that out. Huge blocks of stone erupt from the granite cliffs. Well, that certainly did something. Alexander stares with wonder. That's quite a way to welcome a guest, if indeed it is a welcome. Well, I don't know if it's a welcome, but it is a way up. And of course, if you click wrong... Oh no, Alexander loses his balance. You fall down. Whoa! Ow! Hey! Which is not uh, a problem from that height. It is, however, oh, no. hilarious. Alexander loses his balance. Whoa! Ow! Hey! He falls on his butt. Okay, oh no. once more. Alexander loses his balance. Whoa! Hey, quit making me fall. Oh no, Alexander breaks the fourth wall. Of course, if you uh, try that from slightly higher up, the results are not as good. Tickets up next. That wasn't a very logical step. I like the little uh, Wily E. Coyote wave he gives before he falls, by the way. If you didn't see it, uh, he'll do it again in some other places of the game. So you get another chance. And the path ends here, but there are more etchings in the rock. Alexander examines the strange etchings in the face of the cliff. A master of languages will something something, and there are these strange symbols. Now these symbols are actually the Ancient Ones alphabet, described in the guidebook. And although there is no hint associated with the second um, 
challenge. If you've read the chapter on the Ancient Ones, you'll recognize this as a saying that the Ancient Ones used to have. Namely, a master of languages will soar. So we need to spell the word soar using the Ancient Ones alphabet. So, um, let's see. This is an S. This sort of unhappy smiley face thing is an O. And... Um, this is an A, and this is the R. The stone beneath Alexander's feet trembles as more steps emerge from the granite cliffs. Okay. It's a good thing Alexander doesn't suffer from vertigo. Not sure if I would be uh, brave enough to walk up these uh, small steps up a sheer cliff. Don't look down would be my advice. And here we find another challenge. Alexander examines the strange etchings in the face of the cliff. It is four plain-looking buttons. So obviously we're gonna need some help from the guidebook again. Unfortunately it has um, a hint for the third challenge, which is known as the Stones of Stealth, which are associated with this riddle. Four men standing in a row, third from the left, and down you go. The rest, in order, move you on. The youngest, the oldest, and the second son. So, um, that's obviously talking about um, the buttons, being the men standing in a row. And the third from the left, if you push that one, will fall immediately. So let's uh, stay clear of that one. Then the rest we need, um, the youngest, the oldest, and the second son, for which we need to know uh, which way around they are ordered, either oldest to youngest or youngest to oldest. And we know, of course, that um, the youngest would be um, the first son, and the second son, uh, sorry, the oldest would be the, the first son, and the, the second son would be the second oldest. So therefore, they must be ordered oldest to youngest, because otherwise the uh, second son would be this button, which we know is not one of the correct ones. So that means we have youngest, oldest, and the, the second son. The stone beneath Alexander's feet trembles as more steps emerge from the granite cliffs. And we continue upwards. This is basically the uh, copy protection for this game, because it requires information from the manual to solve. Well, at least it's uh, not as elaborate as all the spells from Kings 3. And also not as... Um, Random as just asking for a word or something. Alexander examines the strange etchings in the face of the cliff. The fourth challenge has no explicit hint in the guidebook, but the sacred four are mentioned in the, um, the chapter about the ancient ones again as being the emotion tranquility, the color azure, the creature caterpillar, and the element air. And they are again associated with uh, symbols, because these symbols are not just letters, they also represent uh, concepts. So we need um, the Emotion Tranquility, which is this tower-looking thing. And um, the color Azure. Um, that's uh, the smiley face again. And the creature Caterpillar, which um, they apparently worshipped because it 
developed its own wings, and the ancient ones were um, obsessed with flight, which is this symbol. And finally, the element air. That's quite obvious for uh, a race obsessed with uh, uh, flying. And it's this symbol. The stone beneath Alexander's feet trembles as more steps emerge from the granite cliffs. How much further do we have to go? Oh, there's actually one more riddle. And there it is. I'm gonna save just in case I fall by accident or something. Probably have been a good idea to do that at every riddle, but I didn't. Alexander examines the strange etchings in the face of the cliff. All silent cried a noble boulders. Sure, why not? And the hint in the uh, guidebook reads only those of the highest order may ascend the cliffs of logic. With the word ascend capitalized, so like the first challenge, we just need to pick the letters again. Considering how easy these riddles are, it's a, really a miracle that nobody ever managed to solve them. Because all the information needed to solve them was readily available, apparently, if uh, this uh, guy who wrote the guidebook was able to get a hand, get his hands on it uh, to put it in the guidebook. The stone beneath Alexander's feet trembles as more steps emerge from the granite cliffs. And now we can make it to the top. Alexander finds himself finally at the top of the cliffs. Exhausted, he steps over the lip of the plateau and stands. Why do you make such an effort to climb the cliffs, young man? The winged ones who live on this island have the power of flight. You could have it too, if you'd only eat a berry from this magical flying nightshade bush. <coughs> The sweet berries will make you float like a petal on the wind. <coughs> Try some. I don't know, isn't Nightshade poisonous? And it looks like she has glowing yellow eyes again. So I have a feeling we can't trust her. We'll have to find out in the next video.